Right now at five with a record $1.6 billion up for grabs in tonight's Mega Millions lottery jackpot. People all over the nation are buying $2 tickets for a chance to dream. We are just hours away from the drawing and tonight we are talking about Mega Millions math. Is there a way for players out there to find any kind of an edge? Kristen Byrne <laughs> live in Glendale with a look at the uh, rather long odds. Kristen. <laughs> well, Steve, this equation might not make a whole lot of sense to you or me, but a mathematician who showed it to us says it explains our chances of winning the Mega Millions jackpot. What you want to look at is called the expected value. UWM mathematics professor Dr. Brendan Healy used an algebraic equation examining our odds of winning the Mega Millions jackpot. Can you explain in a sentence what this means? Absolutely. Each ticket costs you $2 and is going to net you, on average, less than $2. So every time you buy a ticket, you're actually throwing away some amount of money. The odds are winning one in roughly 302 million. Motley Fool, a financial services company, put together a list of what's more likely to happen to you than winning the lottery. That includes being a victim of a shark attack, becoming the president of the United States, becoming an astronaut, and dating a supermodel. Somebody has a chance, um, but it's not you. So can you increase your chances? Dr. Healy says you can by buying more tickets. And here's another piece of advice. Don't pick lower numbers like birth dates. Those bigger numbers aren't being played as often. So if you play the larger numbers, Chances are better that if you do win, you're not going to split the jackpot. So we asked the mathematician, Dr. Healy, if he won the Mega Millions jackpot, would he take the lump sum or would he take the annual payments? We wanted to know what a mathematician would do. He said, even though he knows that the uh, annual payments mean more money, he would take the lump sum and he would invest it. So that's what uh, I think I would do because he did it. Live in Glendale, Kristen Byrne, today's TMJ4.